Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am back with a video all about romantic, sexy fragrances. These are gonna be your date night scents, more specifically Valentine's Day, which is literally right around the corner. I'm saying that and I'm like, come on girl, we just started 2024. But I wanted to share with you guys some fragrances that I might have not talked about that often and some that I have a lot. And I got a combo here too that's going to blow you away. I'm giving like feminine energy vibes. This is the video for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're new, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love, love, love for you to join our YouTube family and let's jump into it. So when it comes to date night fragrances or even for Valentine's Day, I wanna smell like a woman. Like I wanna smell sexy but feminine and playful. Like I wanna get all of the vibes across, okay? So I have fragrances here that I have worn on date nights. Some of them are actually new, but I think that they are all absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna start with one that's actually the newest to my collection, which is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Magnolia. This scent is stunning so feminine and beautiful and beautiful and beautiful like oh it opens up a little citrusy and bright in the opening and then you get the beautiful creaminess of the floral notes i think that there is patchouli in here which just adds a little bit of oomph but honestly it's nothing too crazy. It's not like in your face, at least not for me. It just grounds the fragrance and adds more character. And I really love when brands do patchouli right, where it's not super intense, but it really just makes that fragrance combination cohesive and beautiful. This smells like feminine. This smells playful. It still smells elegant. It's just so creamy and luscious and in the notes in here which i love that gucci does this too there is magnolia essence there's dewberry accord and there's patchouli essence those are the main notes i don't get too much of the patchouli like i said but i think that this is such a beautiful feminine scent i feel like it's a crowd pleasing scent a lot of people are really going to enjoy smelling this one there's a bit of sweetness in here but there's also a little bit of depth in the dry down the floral notes are very creamy. They're very luscious. So it just adds to this fragrance, this warmth, okay? This warmth to this fragrance. I really do love it. I spray the heck out of this. This is a new bottle, but I'm definitely over spraying her to make it last longer. And I get about five to six hours out of this one, which I think is really good, especially if I'm wearing this during date night. I don't need it to be super beast mode. I'll be very honest and I'll find ways to make that fragrance last, okay? We are spraying all over ourselves we are oiling ourselves up and then spraying the fragrance just doing little things to make it last this smells really really good and i highly recommend you guys checking this one out it is the latest launch i believe from gucci and i think that it is stunning i'm so glad that i have like a full big bottle because i can definitely see myself wearing this a lot okay next up we are going to one that i've recommended millions of times it's one of my favorites because it's one that my husband bought for me on one of my birthdays it's so such a sexy romantic fragrance. This is my Burberry Black. If you don't have this, you are sleeping, honey. This is so luscious and gorgeous and sensual. Like this is a woman in a bottle for sure. You got your little black dress on, maybe a little red lip and your hair is done. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. Mine's a little bit broken, but let me go ahead and spray that in the air. Oh my God, it's a fruity floral scent. I get a bit of black currant. I don't know the full notes in this fragrance, but I'm getting something like that. And then this juicy vanilla note just comes through and it's like very creamy and sweet, but there's a bit of deepness, like a sandalwoody vibe. Like there's a deep, deep depth in it in the dry down. It's very warm, almost like ambery warm. And it's just delicious. It's delicious. It's giving you definitely date night vibes. It's giving you second, third, fourth date. It's very, very beautiful. It's sexy, but it's not super raunchy. It's still like a little elegant and elevated. And I just, 
I love this one. I love this one. It has so much character and oomph and depth and it smells like a grown woman to me. This is not juvenile at all, but it's not like done in a very mature way. So you can pull it off depending on, you know, your vibe, but I feel like it smells like a grown woman. Like, you know, what time it is. So the next fragrance that I'm gonna mention is one from one of my favorite niche houses. I think that they do such impeccable fragrances. I actually wanna do an entire video on my collection because I own quite a few from this house and that is fragrance to bois this is the fragrance lovers from the lovers collection it's one of my favorites from that entire collection honestly all of them are incredible in that collection but this one is my favorite and it's the one that i'm planning to wear this valentine's day actually and it just smells oh my god it smells so sophisticated and sexy and grown and very expensive. Like this has the most smoothest scent bubble you will ever experience. It literally envelops you. It's very captivating. And it's one that can be worn on men or women, to be quite honest with you guys. It's very unisex. But when I wear it, I feel like a woman, okay? I recently went out uh, with my husband on a little getaway and I brought this fragrance with me. And you don't see a dent because I don't need to overspray. It is a heavy hitter. This is one that definitely sticks to my clothes and my skin and it stays on my clothes till the next day so it's one that's going to last you a really really long time like the quality of this one is like it's top notch because you know fragrance de bois never disappoints me and this is one that i absolutely adore and think it's just so romantic and kind of playful and sophisticated all at the same time it's giving you grown vibes for sure this is not your cookie cutter fragrance it's one that I wear mainly when I'm really dressed up and going to a more of an upscale restaurant or location, an art gallery, somewhere where I just feel very chic and I'm dressed for the occasion. Opening is quite fruity, honestly. You're gonna get a lot of very juicy, fruity notes that are really blended to perfection. I don't find anything is too pungent and sticky whatsoever, but the mid is my favorite honestly the mid is my favorite okay there are beautiful notes of rose and saffron and i believe there's jasmine in here oh that combination is everything so the base might be a little surprising when you look up the notes you might think oh this is this is looking a little masculine because there are some deep notes in the base but honestly i feel like the top and the mid really balance out the base of this fragrance because i still get the rose in here on my skin throughout the entire there that saffron adds a nice spiciness to this fragrance and i definitely still get the jasmine which to me it's more of like a modern jasmine I feel like this one pulls more floral on me than anything and then the base of this fragrance really grounds things and adds more depth and character and I just I love how this smells it almost goes to a like floral like rosy musky scent but there's a bit of spice in there there's warmth in there it's absolutely stunning I have layered this actually with Kayali oud gasm vanilla oud these two together layer beautifully this is just going to add a lot of sweetness to this fragrance so if you feel like you need more sweetness to your fragrance i added this one and they blended so so well together i do like it on its own but with the kaoli it definitely gave it more of a feminine touch rather than a unisex vibe but i love it i love the performance and i love how it leaves like a scent trail wherever i'm walking around it's just beautiful next i have a combination that's going to knock your socks off you might be a little scared you might be a little worried but i have tried this fragrance with two fragrances that i have here on my list the first one i'm going to talk about is this combination over here it is giving me very much sexy vibes now it's taken this fragrance from a comforting cozy scent to a more sexy scent so this is guidance from amwash and for me this is a cozy scent this is it's it's not sexy to me on its own. It's cozy, it's enveloping, it's a warm hug. But I went ahead and added Lost Cherry to it. And oh my goodness, these two together, I have it here on this card. Mmm, the cherry of Lost Cherry with that creaminess from Guidance 
that's giving me sexy vibes. That's giving me romance vibes. That's giving me date night vibes. It's still very, very feminine. It's very luscious and creamy because that's what you get from guidance and those very beautiful floral notes. But then you add that deep cherryness from here and it's literally a very unique, one of a kind kind of scent combo. It's not my typical one. This is going to be leaning very niche. It's gonna be leaning very unique. So try it out for yourself. But I just loved these two together when I combined them. It's definitely giving me sensual vibes and it's romantic and it's perfect for a nice romantic dinner date. I think that is beautiful if you're wearing this on Valentine's Day. Um, the color that I get when I smell this fragrance because of the cherry is definitely red. It's giving me red lip vibes and it's just a very unique combination. So try it out if you haven't already. I promise you it's gonna be unique but it's so beautiful in the dry down. So if you have Amouage Guidance and this one, combine them together. Another combination that I did was Valentino, Donna Boring Roma Intense, and Lost Cherry. This is giving me very, very sensual, sexy vibes. Very sexy vibes. I'm talking you like to show a little bit of skin. You're not afraid of that. This is the vibe that I'm getting with this combination over here. Still very romantic, but there's nothing wrong with being sexy and romantic all at the same time. This is gorgeous. This is stunning. It's like sexy elevated, okay? It's not just, oh, it's a sexy fragrance. It's elevated now with that cherry note in there. Oh, the vanilla. It's just like creamy goodness on your skin. I love this combination over here. Now, if you want more of a fresher vanilla, you can also combine it with Seven Virtues Cherry Ambition. This is gonna give you a bit of a fresher vanilla, while Tom Ford gives you a more of a deeper, more mature vanilla touch to this fragrance, which is what I prefer. And they smell so, so good together. So if you're not sure what to wear on date nights, I'm giving you guys combos here, not just single fragrances, combos. Next one that I'm going to recommend is for those of you that love to make a statement. You really love to shine. Okay. You want to walk into a room and everyone smells you. This is a beast mode fragrance. I've recently reintroduced it back into my collection because the one that I had, my sister took it with her. So I went ahead and got myself another bottle and this is Monsetta's Roses Vanille. Sexy, romantic, rose fragrance. we got a theme here. We love rose for date nights, okay? This one is so beautiful. It has this stunning creamy rose scent. There is also vanilla in here. There's musk in here. It just smells like, oh, it's intoxicating. Truly, it's very smooth and blended very well. It almost creates this jammy-like texture. And this is one that I prefer the dry down over the opening. For me, the opening sometimes comes off a little synthetic and I get that with a lot of the Monsetta and Montal fragrances. Oh, but there's no denying that this is intoxicating. This is just so deliciously good. It's almost leaning like a gourmand floral scent. It smells so silky, okay? Like if silk had a scent, it would kind of smell like this one. I do get the rose. It's almost like I get two types of roses. I don't think that that is the case for the note breakdown, but I get like a very fresh rose, a little spice, maybe like a green spice, almost like the rose still has the stems on it. And then I get this beautiful, deeper, darker rose with the most gorgeous creamy vanilla note in there. And the white musk just adds to like that clean scent vibe. It's very luscious. It's very cozy at the same time, but super sensual. And and this is one, again, it's a beast mode of a fragrance. Like you don't want to overspray this one. I, I promise you, you don't want to overspray. What I love to do with Rose's Vanille is I love to spray it on myself and then leave the house maybe half an hour later. Like I love the dry down after half an hour. I think that it blends on the skin in the most gorgeous way possible. Oh, this is very intoxicating. It's very addictive. Like once you spray it on yourself, you want to keep wearing this every day. And it's one that's gonna last you again a long time because it's a beast mode. Like this is one of my most beast mode fragrances. Oh my God. 
So what I love about this one is you do get a bit of a synthetic vibe, but it goes away right away. And then it goes away quite quickly. It still lingers for the first couple of minutes, I want to say, but then that dry down is, it's so sweet, but it's not too sugary sweet. It's like, oh, it's like rose and sugar and vanilla and musk all at once, but the sugary tone is very much mellowed out by all of the other notes. I do know that there is like a citrusy tone in the opening, which I do get slightly, but instantly that goes away and I get more of like the rose and the sweet vibe from this fragrance. And it's just Oh, it's very intoxicating, very delicious on the skin. I'm telling you, your man is going to absolutely adore this fragrance. Now let's go on to another fragrance that I really love for date night. It is one that I also added to my collection last year. It was part of my collaboration with Twisted Lily, and that is from Just Box. Sirens and Sailors. This is a beautiful floral scent also. We have a lot of florals, like I said. It's so underrated and I feel like the brand is underrated in general because I have gotten to sample some of their fragrances and they have all really blown me away in terms of the wearability of them. They are niche, but they are not too overwhelming. They're not doing too much, they're not too complex. You can actually see yourself wearing these on a regular basis and they just smell good. There are some fruity tones in the opening of this fragrance and then it goes down to the rose note and then I believe there's rum in here also. Oh, oh, it smells like red wine. Honestly, that's why I find it so romantic and like perfect for a date night. It smells to me like a sweet, delicious red wine in the opening, like everything just combined is beautiful, like a very bodied red wine, if that makes any sense. I love the booziness in this because it's not too like alcohol vibes, but it just adds a lot of like oomph to this fragrance in combined with the rose note in here. It's just, oh, it's so feminine. It is so enveloping. It definitely has like that addictive nature to it also, kind of like Rose's Vanille, like where you smell it and you want to keep smelling it more and more. The dry down is also very beautifully done. The boozy tone still stays there, but it's very creamy and light. It's not overpowering. The rose always comes through on my skin and I feel like my skin really picks up rose heavily on a ton of my fragrances. Even it's not if it's not the most prominent note, my skin will pick up on that nose, on that rose really well. And I find with this one, it definitely does. It's one that I can overspray. I don't find it too overwhelming, but it does last a decent amount and it leaves a really nice scent bubble around me. And then the dry down, you get a beautiful vanilla. I believe there's musk. There's a little bit of patchouli in here, which I don't get too much of. Honestly, I don't get too much of the patchouli, but all in all, you are going to get this boozy, so sort of musky rose scent. It is so beautiful, highly underrated. I recommend you guys getting yourself a sample if you haven't already. Sample um, the, the brand, like if they have a sample set, get that. And if I do find one, I will link it down below. You can get these at Twisted Lily and I do have my code with them, Karita10 to get 10% off. So you can always use the code, but I highly, highly recommend you guys checking this one out. I know that they just came out with a brand new scent and I've already sampled it and oh, I need it in my collection. It is a beautiful fruity scent that I think will be more appropriate for summertime, but it smells really heavenly. But this one is more of like date night vibes for sure. This is a beautiful evening date night, but I will say it's not too deep where you can't wear it for a lunch date. So you could still wear it during the day, but date nights, it's going to be really amplified with the cooler weather. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. Check it out if you haven't already. The next one that I have to share with you guys is an oldie but goodie. It's not super old. It was launched in 2016, but when I smell this fragrance, it's giving me romance vibes all the way. It's not super sexy. It is elegant and a little mature and 
and it just smells like it could be around forever. Like I don't feel like this DNA is going to kind of like wear out. I feel like the cult following is going to follow this one. And there's been a bunch of flankers. This is a flanker for the original one, but this is my favorite flanker, I believe. And this is Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. I smelled this today as I was collecting all of the fragrances for this video and I was like, why don't I wear this more often? It is such a beautiful, pleasant scent that smells very feminine and very romantic. In the opening, there is some fruits. I believe there's black currant and raspberry in here. Oh, there's a bit of spiciness from the pink pepper. And then in the mid, we have rose and peony, my two favorites combination. I find rose and peony do really well together. Rose and jasmine do really well together. And I find peony gives it this very soft feminine touch and very like airy quality to a fragrance. And this is just so beautiful. The dry down, I believe there is vanilla, there's musk in here. And I'm not picking up on too much else from that, but it's just a very light, likeable scent. It's very fresh and light um, and very floral. Like the florals are definitely there. So if you love florals, you're going to love this one. It kind of reminds me of Valentino Donna Born in Roma, the original one, but not super sweet like that one. It's a little bit more, if, it's like if you took that one and made it a little bit more mature and slightly more sophisticated, you would get absolutely blooming. And I love that you still get a lot of sweetness and the combination of those fruit notes on the top with the floral notes in the mid just make for a scent that smells really really wearable very crowd pleasing very pleasant almost like mood uplifting too oh it's so good it's so good that i want to wear it today literally i smelt it and i was like i'm gonna wear this today after i'm done filming taking a shower because i miss this dna sometimes we get caught up on all of these different fragrances that are super complex and they have to be super unique and extraordinary that we forget that sometimes the simple ones are the best. And honestly, when I look at my entire collection and all the compliments that I get from my husband personally, he loves the most simplest one. He loves the rose. He loves the peony. He loves the Chanel's and he loves the C from Armani and he loves the Miss Dior and Valentino born in Roma. He loves those fragrances on me because they have that crowd pleasing DNA. They have that element of the fruity notes and the sweet notes from the floral notes. And I find that men really gravitate towards fruity floral fragrances. So this is one that I have received compliments from him. I haven't worn it in a really long time. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, but does this smell romantic? Absolutely. Absolutely. It does. It smells so, so good. Very ladylike, very feminine. And I just highly recommend this one. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm, I don't know why I haven't worn it in forever, but definitely one that I want to pull out more. I'm thinking of doing a fragrance tray for the remainder of the month because I haven't done one yet. And then doing it every week or every two weeks. If you guys want me to bring back that video, definitely comment down below. The next one that I have is from Burberry again. This is her Elixir, and this is a fragrance that I really, really love. I have heard a few mixed reviews here and there, but honestly, I think that the strawberry note in this fragrance just does it for me. It adds so much sweetness and creaminess to the scent that I just love it. I think that it's, this is just a truly like girly girl scent. Oh my God, that strawberry note. And for some reason I get a little bit of this marshmallow vibe from this fragrance. I know that it's not in the note breakdown, but that's what I get from it. I get this fluffy marshmallow, strawberry milkshake kind of vibe from this fragrance. And it just smells very feminine, very girly, super romantic quite playful, so perfect for like an evening date, but also great for a day date. Um, and it just smells like a very feminine girl. Like if you love to wear pinks or maybe whites and very creamy tones, I think this would go well with you. It smells like flowers and strawberry and marshmallow to me. So if that's your vibe, you're going to love this one. It's definitely more of a floral gourmand to me. The way that it leans for sure, I get that vibe. It's very creamy, not super like tonic, but definitely creamy. And it just smells very kind of like mood uplifting, very pretty. Like I said, very 
very feminine and girly girl. So I would highly, highly recommend this one for anyone that likes that kind of fluffiness in a scent. If you like fragrances like Oriana from Parfums de Marley, this is a great option because it is definitely not that expensive, but this one is definitely more creamy than Oriana, but it, it has that similar vibe in my opinion. So I really, really love this one. I like Burberry Her uh, Intense. I think that that one is a really beautiful one. Also, if you want something more sophisticated, but this one is just like, it's very playful. It's very feminine. It has a bit of a flirty vibe to it. So highly recommend this one. And the very last fragrance that I am going to mention that I think is super romantic, perfect for a date night is the new Givenchy fragrance. This is Linter D Rouge Ultimate. I think that's how you say it. This is the latest one from the flankers. I love the Rouge version. I love the original. I love the intense. Honestly, I love the entire lineup of this fragrance collection. Like they're, they're all really incredibly good and I can wear all of them in different occasions. This one has a little bit of a twist. Okay. This one has cacao in it. It's definitely heavy on the white florals. Like there's a lot of white florals in here. There is like tube rose. There's jasmine. There is orange blossom. Oh, there's neroli in here. And normally I don't like too much neroli, but I definitely pick it up on this one, but it adds the most beautiful freshness. I love, love that the white floral tones in this fragrance are very much um, modern and very like, uplifting like they, they're like fresh and light and airy and then oh the cacao note it's not super prominent it adds a little bit of warmth to this fragrance a little bit of like it not sweetness but a little bit of warmth to me in my nose anyways I don't get too much of it where it's like oh my god it's leaning chocolatey not really to me maybe a touch of it Oh, it smells so, so good. If you love more of like a fresh white floral scent, you are going to adore this one. There is vanilla in the dry down also, and I think there might be patchouli. I don't know 100%, but that beautiful brightness is spectacular. Like the brightness really is everything. It's almost like I wish that it was in a different colored bottle. This is way more brighter than the Rouge version. And so I don't get like that deep dark vibe that I'm getting in the bottle, but it's still a very beautiful, kind of sensual, feminine, grown woman scent. Guys, my phone's going off, I apologize. Um, and it just smells so, 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 so good. Now, if you wanna take this up a notch and make it a little bit more sexier, I would highly recommend layering it with Kaoli, either the original vanilla fragrance from Kaoli or vanilla oud. I think vanilla oud adds a little bit more depth to it. It's just going to add a little bit of this woody tone and a vanillic tone to this fragrance and it's going to mesh really well with all of those creamy white florals. I promise you do this if you haven't already but on its own I feel like if I was to go out for a daytime date, this is one that I would absolutely wear because it has this brightness to it, but it still smells very elegant and ladylike, but a little bit sensual. Oh, so good. If you love white florals, definitely don't skip out on this. Try, try, try. Go to your Sephora, Hudson's Bay, wherever they have it around you and smell it for yourself and spray it on your hands. Spray it on your hands, spray it on your skin and let it linger because sometimes on paper it's a little bit different. But yeah, I, I think that this would be an amazing romantic scent. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. I would love to know what is your top two romantic fragrances. Comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys consider a romantic scent, perfect for date night, perfect for Valentine's, which is right around the corner. Definitely let me know what you plan on doing. I plan on probably going out for dinner. We might do a little getaway. We love going away for Valentine's Day, just me and the hubby. So never know, we shall see. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on the next video. Ciao.